Hello everybody, my name is Anthony, welcome back to Let's Play Heart of Matter 4 as Communist Indonesia. Let us continue on from where we last started off. So, we have troops over in Greenland. If I just scroll up here, there we go. We have troops over in Greenland, which we probably want to do something with. We're trying to send them over to Newfoundland, but I'm assuming they're probably not going to be super, super successful. Is this plane? I can't tell because sometimes it's almost impossible to see these inf this information. And I also did notice that apparently we still have planes over in Europe. We have tactical bombers, which we need to actually drop nuclear bombs. So we can't really do anything with them right now. So just kind of send them over here. These, you know, fighter planes, they can probably go, you know, over here. It doesn't really matter for overcapacity. It doesn't like, it doesn't make a difference. Because, you know, what else would they be doing? They're not going to be fighting any enemy fighters or anything like that in Europe. So I think it's fine kind of just as it is. Uh, we gave territory to some of our puppets. I could, well, these two aren't puppets, but still. And they kind of just gave territory to the Soviet Union because they like making my borders look like trash. So, research slot available. Yeah, convoy sailing, sure. Like, it doesn't make a difference to me at all. I still want this area under my control, so we're not going to give that to any of our puppets, even though it probably would make an okay idea. Where are these guys going? Are they trying to invade themselves? I mean, if they do, that's not like it's the worst thing, but... It would take it takes so long, I think, to ship troops over. Yes, we're 17 days here. Where are you going? I can't see, even though they're my ally, which is kind of dumb. My guys have arrived in Krakow. I mean, they didn't actually walk to the territory they were supposed to be at, but whatever. Also, I thought it made you the hot pink color. What happened to that? There we go. But I want you to navally invade from here to, like... I mean, all these islands are connected, so... so as long as we kind of do, like, island hopping... Yeah, because that's all connected, and then this would all be connected. Yeah, so two, two sevens, seven and seven. We don't have, okay, we actually probably should send an Air Force down here. Uh, you got, no, not you. Sound like one of these really big fighter pilot brigades. And send them down to like an airbase down here. So there we go. They should be fine now. Probably put them over a. Uh, I'm looking overlooking this area. I think we did lose one brigade at some point, but that's fine. It's not really that big of a deal. And then you guys can basically just be over here. What? Else, what's what's your other problem? Air superiority ships on mission. Caribbean Sea. What's wrong with the Caribbean Sea? We can see it just fine. I mean, it's red right now, but that's because our fighters actually haven't reached the battlefield. Portugal? No. I don't want your troops. Stop asking me to give... Like, I don't want them. When are you done? You got 11 days left. And for the most part, like, the war is just a waiting game until we can actually get to Europe. Or get to North America, establish fighter planes. Or air bases, I guess. And then nuke every major city, like nuke Washington, Philadelphia, New York, Boston, Detroit, Chicago. Just nuke all of them at once, because we have, we have 10 nukes right now, which I, I would say is, you know, a decent number. We also still have a bunch of planes that still need to be deployed, but, you know, we're not going to do that right now. So you guys go away, go away. Really just delete most of this information, because it's, really, it's not really useful for us. Yeah, so Canada... Guatemala, Philippines, there's a lot of- oh, Philippines somehow lost 100,000 men in this war. Who hasn't lost- who's lost the least? Oh, Luxembourg hasn't lost a single person. I mean, they got occupied. But not a single soldier actually died fighting. So, I mean, that's good. In, in a certain way. I mean, there's still a lot of fighting going down here in uh, Africa. The Soviets and the French are fighting over, uh, Algeria. These guys are kind of pushing their way into, like, uh, Nigeria and stuff over here. I mean, yeah, we're killing American convoys. I still don't know really where the uh, convoys are going unless you're trying to support these troops, but... Really, Portugal? You actually have zero attack. So... 
Apparently, I'm not even getting all our oil, which kind of sucks, but... 35 days. You guys are also, also almost ready to go. Have our planes still not shown up? No, they have shown up. How do we not have... Naval superiority. Okay, I think we need at least some boat. So... For one, uh, you guys need to re-establish your main naval bases here. That's your home base. And then just convoy raid in the... Nope. Then convoy raid... Here. And I don't know if that counts yet, or if they need to be... Oh no, they still count. There's no unit assigned to this order. What do you mean there's no unit... Why do they get unassigned automatically? I don't know. There we go. Insufficient. Yeah, no, it'll it'll be fixed eventually, and then we'll kind of evade the uh, the Caribbean, and I'm pretty sure that'll be fine. I mean, there's a lot of Soviet presence down here in this away or in Venezuela. They're across the river, so I'm assuming they're not going to be able to do too too much. Also, apparently the Dutch are invading through here. Is there anybody else we can like easily attack? Thirty days to attack uh, Colombia, so they they take thirty days, but Romania takes hundred and twenty. I don't know why. Brazil takes 125. Like, what's different about Colombia? Is it because they're very, very democratic? Like, are you also really, really easy to conquer? No, that's 120. I don't know what it is about Colombia. Have they done anything to generate world tension? Germany, us, Soviet. No, it's in alphabetical order, so has Colombia done- No, th Colombia has done nothing. But apparently we can just easily invade and attack them, so... I mean, Colombia, how many troops do you have? You have actually a decent amount, so maybe it wouldn't be the best idea to open up a new front, but... It wouldn't be the worst idea, it would connect both sides of the continent. Because there's actually no uh, naval base over here, but still. Oh, so we probably want to take the Panama Canal. Panama, how easy is it to attack you? 125 days, I don't understand why it's so much harder, but fine. Okay, you guys are ready to attack. You're ready to attack tomorrow, but you can't do anything until the, uh... the submarines show up. And how long is it going to take for those submarines to show up? Probably should have thought about this earlier. Uh, only 16 days, actually, which isn't really too, too bad. Hey, the Italians are doing stuff. Like, I don't care. Germany, no. You can you just sit back, hang out, let me do all the heavy lifting, just stop requesting things from me. That's really my only request, is to stop it. But once we have basically any foothold in North America, we can basically just send all our troops there, I believe, at least. I mean, I don't know why this is the only supply line. That's being sent over there. I don't know why. Like, I don't know why we're sending so many supplies over into this area. Like, we don't have troops here. So, why am I supplying that area? I don't know. Oh, apparently, there's also a lot of America. I mean, no morale. Oh, yeah, because we have no supplies. Right. That actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah, you guys go away. So, how do I do this in a smart way? I don't re- oh my god, that's a lot of American troops. Also, apparently there's no supplies over here either. 52 out of local naval bases. Is that the issue? Is just the naval base is super, super small? Yeah, I think the naval base is just way too small to actually support our troops. Well, you know what, purple? You'll do it. No, you still can't do it, right? Okay, so I think we need another workaround. Yeah, these guys are going over there. So, I mean, yeah, it looks like it's fine until these guys actually show up. So, where's a better landing site? Uh, edit mode. Okay, so we can't stack here. 
That's just bad. Quebec would be defended. Halifax. I don't know what port I don't know what province this port's in. This one maybe? No, it's in this one. Let's cancel that. Edit this one here. I said edit this one here. Go to there instead. But I assume that means we actually need more intel. Yeah, we do. Okay, so our plane. Like, I'm assuming they can't reach over here. Yeah, they, there's no way at all. So our actual navy. Where are you guys anyway? You're over here. Like, this doesn't matter anymore. This area doesn't need to be protected. So you search and destroy here. And then maybe that will be enough to get us uh, more navies or inner wings on mission. How about um, Denmark Strait? How about planes? Where are you? Here, B and C. I mean, that's useful, but like not really what we need right now. I guess we can just deploy a bunch of planes as well. Apparently, they can't reach back there anyway, so, you know, never mind. That's not really going to help us at all, is it? So, are you guys ready to go? No, we still can't. No, don't kamikaze strike. I feel like that's a little bit stupid. Do we have... Where's our naval bomber? Send them down here. And see if maybe they can naval bomb us some, like... Air superiority? There we go. Apparently that just worked. Even though I don't think the planes are here yet, we can still go on with the attack. Apparently these guys are also just like all infantry, so I'm assuming it's going to go very, very badly for them. Which is, which is bad for us, but still. Okay, you guys go attack New Brunswick. Maybe it'll work out. Chances are is no, but Venezuela is also falling pretty, pretty fast. Yeah, negative sixty-seven percent is just not enough. They have they have really high defenses as well. Fifty-six. Apparently that nope nope you guys still attack. Apparently that plan didn't work out as well as I was thinking thinking it would. So how about we just ignore that plan? Ignore Operation Invade Through the Caribbean because apparently we're just not able to do that properly. And instead, frontline against the United States over here because I think that's kind of where we need to be at the moment. You guys. No, what? The, no, where are you going? They still have, like, no supply whatsoever. I'm just hoping that it's somehow completely abandoned. I, like, I know it won't be. How about you just stand here for now? Wait for you to get at least a little bit of organization. And then attack. Yeah, it's gonna take a little. It's gonna take a little bit of time, but I'm sure it'll somehow work out. Troops, get over there. Walk over there, onto the front line, push back the United States. Maybe attack through Colombia. Like I don't know how well that's really going to work out for us, but go to. I mean, they only have like two cities, so maybe it would be kind of easy to take care of them. I mean, Venezuela is kind of just a mess at the moment. Or maybe you can go onto the border with the British? Nah, it looks like there's a lot of British troops there as well. We need to be at least be somewhere. You have your organization ready. Attrition 1% actually isn't too, too bad, so it's not like it's that really bad, that big of a deal. We're not super out of supplies here. Romania is still in the middle of their civil war, but I think uh, pretty one-sided so far. So I'm assuming Romania is probably going to do with that, you know, just fine. We got modern tanks now. I mean, that's good. Engineering of industry is over. Air is, I mean... 
Clips here to support. We've already gotten like all the things we need. Tactical Bomber 2? Sure. So, you know, what else are we really going to build or research? You guys ready to go? You guys have decent, decent uh, points now. So you go do that invasion. Hopefully you can actually land. Also, it looks like actually Halifax is only guarded by Canadian troops. And I can't imagine Canadian troops are that plentiful. Yes, go defend that border. Ignore... Oh, these planes probably shouldn't be here anymore. Yeah, how about we actually just have the planes defend our actual troops here? Yeah, so you guys get over there eventually. Poland, 39 division. Are they in, like, this area here? Unassigned divisions. Yeah. Put you under commander of this guy. What am I going to do with these men? I got no idea. Not, not a clue, but... We actually have a lot of convoys now, so I think somehow maybe the game fixed itself, or we just got a stupid amount of convoys some other way, but I think for the most part it's fine. Um, Let's throw you on this border, have you be like the color yellow. I mean, I don't know if you have a, a yellow army, but you know, the yellow army is just really guarding our territory, so it's not like it's really that big of a deal. Iran wants to give us 35 troops as well. Are those troops all just kind of hanging out in Iran? No, it's hard for me to tell. If they're not all just like one province, then I don't really want to deal with the kind of organizing them. So, you do with you'll deal with that yourself. Oh no, this province is protected by the Finns. They sent troops to other countries. Okay, I did not know that. Okay, Mexico's at forty-four percent communist. Hopefully, at some point they'll actually join us. I, I think there's a civil war. Then the United States might intervene. But that might not be the case because they're already at war. I'm not too sure exactly how that's all going to work out. Oh my god, how it takes these guys so long to get over there. Just get to this front line. I mean, we need, this, we need to save Venezuela. It's really not working out, you know, for us super, super well. But we need to take a city, take a port, and then at that point you know, ship 92 divisions to Canada. Because, you know, what else can we possibly do? Maybe we should have taken, like, Bermuda or something like that, but... At least these guys are all Marines, and they all actually have organization on, like, the first time we sent them over. Yeah, 35, 38. I mean, this number's rising. I don't really know why it's rising, but... Hopefully don't send reinforcements over here. Is this mountains? It's once again, it's like impossible to tell. No, this is forest. Halifax is also forest, so I mean there wasn't a better there wasn't like a real better choice in between those two provinces. I mean some of them have higher attack. You know, negative forty percent penalty though is pretty, pretty bad. Quebec, are you planes? Maybe, maybe Quebec is a better choice. But it's really, really hard to say. I mean, if they still aren't going to like reinforce this province at all, then if we just can kill all these Finns, then it, it probably should be okay. Eighty-seven, three days until we can maybe actually get an attack going. So yellow army. Oh, they're actually walking all the way over here. Sure, why not? I'm sure they'll get to eventually. And uh, pink, your army really is just attack to try to get back control of the city. I mean, there's a lot of Canadian forces over here, which is good because I mean, there's not going to be a lot of Canadian forces actually in Canada. I mean, they don't have a huge army to begin with, but. 94, 95, come on, Finland, just back off. Yeah, there you go. You figured it out, Finland. You do not want to be here. So we've taken our first territory in a new world. 
Um, how much supply can this actually contain? 4 out of 17. Now it's our goal to send every single troop here. And let's see if we can maybe secure a little bit more territory. It looks like the Canadians weren't really ready to attack because these guys really have no organization whatsoever. They weren't prepared for this invasion. So, I mean, that's good for us. You know, just try to claim up as much territory as humanly possible. Whether or not they'll actually, you know, make it easier to defend, it's maybe, maybe, maybe to be seen. But if we can take Halifax as well, then that's going to be uh, pretty, pretty useful. Also, I have no idea what the hell that noise was. It didn't sound like it was very, very good, though. Okay, let's try to push these guys out of Halifax or out of Nova Scotia. Well, we just need to defend our holdings. I mean, there are Marines. They're not going to be like, they're going to be super, super good, but... And these guys are going to 24. It's going to be a month. Can the Marines hold out for a month? I'm hoping the answer is yes, but I don't really know. But I just think we're going to have to end this episode here. So thanks everybody for watching. My name is Anthem. If you've enjoyed, remember to thumbs up. Not you, always thumb down. Watch more, subscribe, and goodbye.